Welcome back to Go on Shaw TV. Once again, we are in the Legislative Library talking about the 100th anniversary of the women's suffrage movement here in Manitoba. It's almost 100 years that women got the vote in Manitoba. Earlier, we talked to historia, historian Linda McDowell about Nellie McClung, and now we are going to talk about the Nellie McClung Foundation. Myrna Drija, you're an MLA for Charleswood. You're also a board member of the foundation. Tell us why the Nellie McClung Foundation was started. It started with an idea back in early 2000, and uh, we were looking for a way to celebrate International Women's Day, and uh, we weren't sure what we wanted to do, and then somebody said, well, you know what, there aren't any monuments on the grounds of the Manitoba Legislature of many women except for Queen Victoria. All of the rest of the monuments are of men, and yet here we have Nellie McClung, who was one of the main reasons Manitoba women were given the vote. Uh, she was chosen in a competition as the fifth most prominent Manitoban of our time, and yet we didn't have anything here in uh, Winnipeg, um, you know, other than a small head bust at the uh, Assiniboine Park. Mm -hmm. uh, and somebody said, well, you know what, why don't we look at uh, trying to find a way to get a monument on the grounds of the legislature. That isn't an easy task, mm -hmm. and I was uh, an opposition MLA, so it was even harder, and so the only way we could really do it was to uh, bring forward a private member's bill and create a foundation, and the foundation board would then raise the money to uh, erect the monument and then also um, create the website so that we could continue to educate people. Tell us about more about the monument. Um, I know it was really important not to just include Nellie herself, but the famous five. Why was it important to include, include all those women in the monument? Because pioneer women never worked alone. And mm -hmm. uh, in speaking with a pioneer woman that really was knowledgeable about pioneer women, said that I, she didn't think Nellie McClung would ever have wanted to be alone on a monument mm -hmm. because it's very static. And uh, pioneer women didn't do that. They, they worked as a group. The, they worked together. And um, this shows action. Having Nellie stand, uh, you know, or be a monument of just herself wouldn't have put across any messages. It would have been just a monument. Uh, this has a message and it's showing women working together to achieve something. And uh, Nellie McClung's granddaughter, who we have stayed very connected with, has said that that's absolutely accurate, that that would have been what she wanted. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, had to work very hard to convince people that the the right place for the monument was on the Manitoba legislative grounds. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, not necessarily an easy task to do, but uh, through a lot of perseverance, uh, we were able to do it, and uh, that's where it belongs because it was, uh, you know, it, it's part of a political history here. It's part of what, um, you know, led to women getting the vote. So that monument is exactly where it needs to be right now. And the foundation just isn't about that monument. It's also about education. You have a, an amazing website called ournelly.com where people can go on and read all about Nelly and about the monument. Um, but the foundation, like I said, education and that reinvigoration for young women as well, right? And that was the intent of the uh, private members bill that I put through. Uh, and, and it wasn't just about celebrating our history. It's how do we help women today to connect with that history, but also to inspire women nowadays, especially young women, to want to take up the same, you know, uh, the same challenges that Nellie McClung, you know, took on for women's equality, for social equality, support of the arts. And, uh, you know, it's amazing the number of people that don't necessarily know our history. And we thought, we've got to get Nellie's history out there. So we put the website together. It's got um, all kinds of information for schools. Uh, for teachers, um, and and it's not just about Nellie. It mm -hmm. captures the whole the era of the suffragists, mm -hmm. and um, so we we wanted it there. We want to inspire more people to um, do what was done a hundred years ago, and 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 let's keep that that struggle going, not uh, the struggle going, but to keep the uh, you know the moving forward. Yeah, keep the movement going to address mm -hmm. the struggle of uh, what was happening hundred years ago. 
Do you ever, as an MLA, and Nellie McClung, after she moved to Alberta, was a member of the Alberta legislature, do you ever put yourself in her shoes 100 years ago? Is that something you have ever think about? You know what, I thought about it just recently with our temperature as cold as it is right now. They were doing a lot of the work through winters here in Manitoba. They didn't have cars with heaters. They didn't have, uh, you know, Blackberries and iPhones and social mm -hmm. media. They were very challenged a hundred years ago, and more than a hundred because the struggle started even before that. How they did all of that with all of those challenges against them uh, just totally amazes me. And I thought, you know what, with with all of the, you know conveniences we have nowadays, um, the, we don't really have excuses not to, you know, do what women leaders in the past have done. And uh, I admire them hugely because uh, I can't imagine, uh, you know, going by train or going by horse and buggy or um, slogging through snow and this temperature. It, it, the challenges were formidable, not just the, the political challenges, but just the, the geographical challenges. And these women um, really, really need to be admired, and we need to be celebrating them, and that's why this is all happening. Yes. And we are going to be talking about the 100th celebration later on in the show. We're going to talk to Dana from the Nellie McClung Foundation about all the celebrations that are happening this year, so stick with us. Thank you so much, Myrna. That was great. Oh, you're welcome.